Okay, in, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started on assignment number three, um, the conceptual part, which is to identify a cause and effect relationship of interest to you, um, and then to um, think about or theorize about some potential common causes that might be uh, distorting that relationship. Now, the reason it's important to do this is because before you get into the details of using the data and using Excel and interpreting the regression output, it, it's good to have a sense of why you're doing what you're doing analytically. And uh, that's what I'm, I'm going to try to lay out for you here. So the, um, the analysis starts by um, um, an interest in a cause and effect relationship. You're, you're limited to the data that's available in the, in the, in the UN um, data set. Um, but I would start with this basic causal model that I'm showing you here with a x variable here uh, causing a, a y variable here. And I label the x area variable cause and the y variable effect to keep that clear which is which. And um, I put those in quotes because we don't know if it's cause and effect, but we at least have a theory that it's cause and effect. Um, and we'll see then if the data is consistent with that theory. Um, in st statistics and in regression in particular, the X or causal variable is referred to as the independent variable, and the y, the y or effect variable is referred to as the dependent variable. So that's why I've added those labels uh, here. Um, now, what variables should you use? Well, let, let me let me pull up the data set here. Um, this is the UN data again. There are lots of things we could look at. There's uh, income, gender equality, and maternal mortality. Uh, there's some additional gender equality variables, labor force participation, um, there's some environmental variables, there's just a wide range of things to, to look at overall life satisfaction. Um, and what, what, you know, essentially you need to um, pick something of interest to you. One, I would suggest actually starting with the dependent variable. Um, and one way to think about that is, um, here, let me... Um, add a new label to this chart. One way to think about that is the, the dependent variable um, can also be thought of as the uh, as an outcome. Uh, and I, I like that word because it there are lots of outcomes we are interested in interested in in, in studying. Um, and um, and if we think about or if you think about an outcome that's of interest to you, then you can uh, work backwards and think, well, what would be a possible cause of that outcome? And uh, one that I'm interested in, which I'm going to use as, as an example here, that uh, uh, is, is the, the variable of life expectancy. It's a basic uh, measure of the well-being of a, of a society. Life expectancy is how long people live on average. And, um, and that's a, certainly a, a key outcome. And I'm going to think about what are the possible causes of life expectancy. Now, I, I want to quickly add that, um, or just mention or emphasize that the variables I'm using and the particular analysis I'm doing here are, in a sense, kind of off limits for the assignment. I, I don't want you to exactly duplicate what I'm doing here uh, for your assignment. In other words, I want you to use a different combination of variables um, in your assignment, but basically follow the same steps, but use a different combination of variables. So, um, so I'm going to start with life expectancy, and then I'm going to work backwards and think like, what 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 might be a possible theory or a possible cause of life expectancy? And there are many things we could come up with, but one I'm interested in in exploring is the 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 variable education, because I think more educated societies may. Um, there may be, in other words, there may be health effects of, of having a more educated society. And how, how would that work? Well, the, the mechanism, causal mechanism, I think, is, is plausible. It, it would be something along the lines that um, uh, more educated populations know more about um, know more about nutrition, know more about sanitation. They're more able to kind of advocate and seek um, appropriate um, health care, um, and, and so on. So I think there are plausible reasons why education in, in a society would uh, produce longer life. Um, by the way, that relationship 
would be, or I would expect that relationship to be positive, more educated societies, are, are societies in which people live longer. Um, by the way, this is all country level data, so I'm stating these theories and hypotheses in terms of countries as opposed to individual people, because the data is country level data. Okay, so that's my, my theory. Now let, let me just move this out of the way, and then I'm gonna uh, be able to uh, sort of outline the steps in the assignment. Um, okay, <clears throat> excuse me, so g given that, um, uh, given that theory, the, the assignment uh, essentially involves um, a step, oops, sorry, uh, let me bring up my pen again, uh, three, three steps. Uh, I'm going to first, uh, in step number one, I'm going to do a scatter plot of the, uh, scatter plot of the, uh, uh, there should be an R in there, I can over a scatter plot of the, which is a graph. And uh, the graph is always very interesting to look at. Uh, graph the data and see if you spot a pattern. If it's a positive pattern, it might look like this. And uh, the horizontal axis is x, the vertical axis is y. So the first, plot, first step is really just to visualize the data and see if that's consistent with your theory. In a later video, we'll show you how to do that with Excel. Um, it's always interesting to look at the data. It's very... Uh, very revealing. You see a lot of patterns and interesting um, things in the data. Step number two is to do uh, what's called a simple regression or bivariate re regression. And that's basically just adds some numerical descriptions of this line that you see in the scatter plot. And the simple regression takes the form of y hat equals a plus bx. It's a simple linear equation. The reason to do it is in part to get the slope b, which tells you how much y changes when x uh, changes. So it, it's a measure of the effect. In a, in a sense, it's a measure of this link right here in the in the in the causal model. Um, you're all, uh, the regression has some other parts it, to it that are useful. One of one of those is a significance test, which is really boils down to a p-value which we can use to see if the slope is significant or not. And I'll, again, I'll explain that more um, in a later video. And then there's also uh, an overall measure called R square, which tells you how much of Y is being explained by X. Um, okay, so that simple regression parallels the scatter plot. The third part of the assignment, um, though, it does involve some theoretical uh, third part does involve some theory to, to, to motivate it. And the third part is uh, multiple regression. And that's the technique we're going to use to implement the control variables part. So this, I might, have, might write this as a control, control variables regression. And that looks much the same as the simple regression, except we add we're going to add in a second x variable. So we're going to have the original slope, and the but it won't be the same. It'll be the original x variable, but a different slope, most likely. And then we're going to add to it a, a second x variable, and it'll have a slope to it. So I'll say more about that later. But this is the method to implement a control variable strategy. But let me show you what that looks like uh, theoretically, because um, the reason, uh, the reason to do the multiple regression analysis is because of a, of a conceptual issue, which I'm now going to go over. Um, so here we have the relationship between education and life expectancy. Now, in the, in the data, we're going to see this relationship in a scatter plot. We're going to estimate it in a simple regression. But we need to think or we might be concerned about the fact that both of these things, both education and life expectancy could be reflecting a, a common cause. There could be something that um, is influencing both education and life expectancy and therefore producing a potential bias in our original step one and step two, which is the scatter plot and simple regression. Now, um, let me th uh, there are many possible candidates, and in fact, there could be several common causes. It's not as if there are 
is only one possible common cause out there in the world. But in this assignment, you're going to just focus on one for the time being. But one that comes to mind, really, and I know it's in the data set, is the income of the population. It could be that this variable is often a factor in many um, analyses. It could be that educate, uh, in, uh, societies with more income are able to produce more education. They can spend more on education, but also perhaps people in um, wealthier si uh, societies seek more education. Uh, it's also true that in income could lead to greater life expectancy for many reasons. The uh, higher income societies can have better housing conditions, better sanitation, better nutrition, uh, better uh, medical care, and so on. Now, the issue with that is that if education and life expectancy, for the reasons I've just described, are plausibly caused by this underlying variable income, then there's going to be this there's going to be some kind of relationship between education and life expectancy that's due or that's due entirely to income and not to the effect of education, the causal effect of education on life and life expectancy. In fact, if income is positively related to education and income is positively related to life expectancy, then income, or rather, I'm sorry, education and life expectancy are going to be positively related regardless of any kind of potential causal effect of education on life expectancy. So if I, in other words, if I just wiped out this, I'm not going to do it, but if I wiped out that white arrow between education and life expectancy, the, the fact that income is a causal factor in both these variables would lead them to be positively related, um, even absent a causal effect of education on life expectancy. Or another way to think about this is this, what I want to really do here is I want to separate out this this, po this part of the relationship that's due to the common cause from the part of the relationship that may be due to a causal effect of education on life expectancy. Now it turns out that multiple regression does that for me. If, if, if I add in this second x variable, which would be my common cause of income, I estimate its effect on life expectancy and, and therefore I kind of can take out, I'm basically taking out this variable, the influence of this variable, and leaving a new estimate of the effect of education on life expectancy, a new estimate that has this bias removed. So this is sort of um, the, the issue here I'm worried about is bias in my causal estimate, sometimes called omitted variable bias. And I want to control for that or account for that omitted variable and therefore get a better estimate here uh, of the true uh, causal effect of education on, on life expectancy. So um, I hope you can see in this that, that um, I haven't done any mechanics yet, but I've, I've done a lot of thinking ahead about what's my causal variable, what's my effect variable, what's my independent, what's my dependent variable, and then what important common cause is there that I need to take into account in order to improve my analysis. So um, if you, I think if you do this sort of thinking in advance um, and you d identify not only your independent and dependent variable but identify this potential common cause and you kind of draw, draw, use the tool of the path diagram to, to think these issues through, then when you do the statistical part um, I think the results will Will make more sense, and you'll understand better what you're what you're doing by, um, in particular, by doing the the multiple regression analysis. Okay, so let's let's go on now and do steps one, two, and three, and those will all be um, uh, their own videos later on. Okay.